Why the F-15 came into existence? Let's travel back to Vietnam, when US forces were not only getting hammered on the ground, but they were getting pounded in the air too. The disadvantage for US pilots was they were flying heavier aircraft, not designed for air combat, while North Vietnam's premier dogfighter was small, fast and agile MiG-21. Nearly 1,700 US planes lost to hostile fire, but the cost was more than just the aircrafts. The demographic of prisoners of war population in Vietnam War was almost totally airmen, the airmen from Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps. It was a big wake-up call for America. In December of 1968, the US Air Force gathered at the Pentagon. They demanded for a fighter jet that can shoot down any Soviet aircraft from the sky. Air Force put out requests for proposals all over the country. Following reviews of proposals, the Air Force selected McDonnell Douglas design in 1969 to meet the service's need for an air superiority fighter. McDonnell Douglas worked very fast, and first F-15 rolled out of production facility just 30 months later on June 26, 1972.